Hello everyone and welcome to this month's anime paint night. This month our main character that we are going to be painting is none other than Sailor Moon or Usagi as her first name is. I used to grow up watching this anime and um, probably one of my first animes or if not my first anime that I ever watched. So inside your kit you'll see the reference sheet that I just showed you. You'll also see the line art that we have for Sailor Moon doing her famous pose. Um, and then our last thing, our watercolor kit is per usual, which should also have a paintbrush inside of it as well. Don't forget your water, like so. And also, don't forget having some paper towels or some extra paper. And with that being said, let's get started. Alrighty, as per usual, we are going to start out with the skin tone first. So go ahead and get some water, ample enough. Uh, I got a new palette, so I have to add a little bit more water than usual. But first, we're going to use the brown. Get a very, 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 very light amount on it. Then start getting a lot of water. Start adding the saturation. Because of like how the light is coming down in the picture, you can't necessarily see it too much. But trust me, I am putting pigment. Um, you can see it a little bit there. And then you use the water to just spread it around. Hardly any pigment here. Hardly any pigment, just to try to make it more accurate to the reference sheet. Um, but yeah, so while we're doing this, Sailor Moon, um, I grew up watching it around like when I was in elementary school, actually. Um, the thing that I always say uh, for um, the show, it always felt like. It always felt like an anime version of Lizzie McGuire. If you don't know what Lizzie McGuire is, highly recommend looking it up and stuff. It, it was, it felt, it felt like that, you know. Um, uh, one of my favorite Sailor Scouts uh, was Sailor Pluto and Sailor Jupiter. Like they're fantastic. In addition to Sailor Moon, they're tremendous, tremendous. Um, but like, I wonder if y'all have seen it. Uh, maybe you haven't. Um, totally recommend it. They also released one called Sailor Moon Crystal. I think it was like a revamping of the anime and such. Um, but it felt a little bit more... I don't know, it felt a little bit more serious than the uh, than the original one. But that's just me. That's just me. So as you can see, we've made our way all the way up to our neck and face. Still following the same format of putting a little bit of pigment and then letting water kind of lead and guide the rest of the way we go through. Um, adding some more pigment closer to the ears with a little less water so you can see a little bit more of the pigment just to like give off the illusion of a little bit of like a, a blush near the ear and we're gonna draw that blush right across where the cheeks and the nose are so like so oh and I was trying to remember if that pocket of uh, space was uh, for skin tone or not so yeah, it was, which is why I went ahead and did that. Um, so I think the next thing that I do, what's the next thing I do? Ah yes, right, the mid region. And we're gonna add a little bit more pigment there. And I think that will be it. Now it's time to move on to our next portion. All right, so for the next thing that we are going to work on, we're going to go for the blue. So for the blue, uh, if you look at her eyes, Sailor Moon's eyes are a nice, strong, dark blue, or you could say indigo. So we'll go for the darker blue that we have on our palette. Take your time here. It's very, 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 like, delicate because, you know, you have the shine in the eyes that so you don't want the blue to, like move into I mean if it happens it happens it's all good but just take your time with it just use the water just spread it around appropriately there you go just like a little bit of dabs and such and then before you know it you've got it done I have uh, her winking so you don't have to do both eyes this time and in addition I added a little bit of purple just to give it a little bit more pigment to it instead of just straight blue um, thought it would be nice that's what I'm doing right here, adding a little bit of purple. Hardly see it, but it's a little bit. The next thing, um, you know, she's wearing a sailor uniform. So uh, she has, like, the little uh, blue frills with the white stripes. So we'll go ahead and tackle that next, taking your time. There, very good, very good. 
then I had to remember like uh, which one were the stripes and which one was like the blue portion which is why I, I hesitate from time to time with this there we go take your time take your time there we go there we go if you notice I did let a little bit of the blue bleed into the mid region there um, but eventually I will go and take care of and tackle it so like Sailor Moon always felt like you know um, like an like original superhero kind of character you know what I mean I was always like yeah 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 she's like she would be amongst the likes of like Superman and stuff like that's what she was to me she was like awesome you know very cool I gotta watch this show again I gotta watch this show again um, I like her color schemes her color scheme is very like similar to Mobile Suit Gundam Mobile Suit Gundam's whole shtick is like uh, oh we've moved to the other color my apologies so we went for the red we're going for the red and we're using the red on like the jewels areas for sailor moon so the three places where there are jewels are on her forehead um and then uh the jewels that are in her hair over there now listen one of the like the the nicknames that they uh gave uh <laughs> Sailor Moon when she was a character they used to call her Meatball Head and it was just like ah oh, man that's a bummer <laughs> and it's like that's before like they they knew she was Sailor Moon so like when she's like in the high school outfit and stuff like that you know just like navigating stuff you know people just like calling her out and just calling her like yeah Meatball Head anyway we went for the pink now and so we're gonna use the pink for the collar first very cool Man, can you imagine just like being called meatball head just like all the time just because of your hair fire? Like, it's too much. Anyway, using the pink again, we're going to be going to the rim of the gloves and such. That's where we're going. Yep, yep, yep. Very cool, very cool. Man, I forgot what I was talking about before, like, we moved on to like painting about the red. Eh, whatever. Okay, so. And then what I decided to do is I actually went ahead and got a little bit more red just to give the pink a little bit more depth, you know, almost like a little bit of a magenta vibe. Um, I didn't want it to be straight red or straight pink. So I think it's a, I think it was a good decision. I think it was a good decision. After we've gotten the rim of the gloves and the collar, we're going to go ahead and use the pink for the ribbons that are on her chest that are connected towards the little insignia there in the middle the design of the insignia in the middle is most certainly like not usually what i've drawn here it's a little bit more complex but you know just like eh, good enough so i decided to make it a little bit easier on myself perhaps easier on you all too but add some a little bit of pink and then i'm going for the red again and making sure that I got enough water so I can spread around the red appropriately so the red isn't like overbearing or anything like that. There we go. Add a little bit more pink just to even that out a bit. And instead of it just being pink now, like now we have a color that like pops, you know? We've got the red and the pink bleeding out. It's very nice. It's very nice. Um, outside of that, I think it's time for the next one. All right, so for the next part, we're going to start moving for the yellow. So she's got a lot. Oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about before. So her color scheme. Her color scheme is very much like Mobile Suit Gundam, where it's like uh, very much blue, very much red, very much yellow and such. So she's got a little bit of that vibe. Um, it almost feels like patriotic almost, like, like United States patriotic and such. It feels that vibe, but hey, it's all good. It's all good. Um, so we've got the yellow here. We're going to put it on the moon earrings. We're going to put it on the moon insignia that connects the ribbons. We put the moon collar and such. And then after that, you already know what it is. One of our favorite parts for anime paint night is always doing the hair of the 
character that we choose. But before we get to the hair, we have to do the tiara. The tiara in the middle also is yellow as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get a little bit more so we can go ahead and take care of that. Oh, to explain what's happening here, there was a little bit of yellow that I had fall near the earring. And I was just like, maybe I can wipe it up. And I want you to know, I was not able to like actually do it. You can't really see it here, but it actually gave me an idea for later. And we're actually gonna see that happen again a little bit later. But this time, instead of it being an accident, will be intentional so leave that alone for now so let's go back to the tiara now that we have a little bit of color being added to the tiara i'm noticing that like how close the tiara is to the hair i don't necessarily want it to be like just straight yellow because then it's kind of going to blend in with the hair so what i did is i went to go ahead for a little bit of the orange once I got the orange, I started dabbing a little bit where the TR was, like so. And I was just like, I don't really need to do it for any of the other stuff. Then I got a little bit of brown as well. Then I started spreading that around. And now it like darkens up the TR just a little bit, just a little bit to make it a little bit more distinct from uh, the hair. Um, I wouldn't go ahead and added a little bit of red for the heart that comes off of the wink. And I believe now it is time to start working on the hair. So I hope you take your time and I hope you enjoy this part because this part is like one of my favorite. Now there are some characters and like often it is this way but like some characters design when it comes with the colors like the hair doesn't necessarily like have to like make it but for Sailor Moon because of how much like a uh, like white space there is in like her clothing and attire and stuff it again very much like the um, Gundam it's definitely definitely like integral to have her hair being like colored the way it is it like makes the outfit you know it's not just um who she is with the hair and stuff like that it's literally the hair feels like it makes the outfit and the character more complete and it already just makes everything stand out so much more because you already have like her hair can be seen as like a, a big old crown at that point and the crown kind of like leads your eyes down with the twin tails and such and in the middle you see the subtle colors with the blues and the pinks it's very nice uh, whoever designed this character and like you know quick google search and find that out um, it's just I don't know I think they did a really good job I just think they did a really really good job um, but yeah we're gonna finish up this first twin tail and then we are going to move on to the next one we still had a little bit of paint of the brush so might as well utilize that a bit more running out a little bit let's add a little bit more in the middle section here then taking my time to flow on the opposite side down here i actually paint the table here so i'm like oops but it's fine it's all good um get a little bit more yellow and then we're gonna do the meatballs as per usual you know gotta do it man what a bummer nickname the hair is so nice though and it just frames the jewels in her hair very nicely. It's very good. Very good. All right. And there you have it. I think that's the hair. I went and added a little bit more pigment to certain areas. But yeah, I think this is it right here. And you also have little sparkles that are surrounding the little... Uh, character that we have here today so you can go ahead and use the yellow there as well um, I think that's pretty much it for this section we still have one more section to go and I'll explain what exactly we're going to do
All right, and so like I said, in this last portion, we're actually going to give a little bit of shading to the areas that are pretty much just white. So I'm going to use the lighter blue part of the palette, get some water, and just like subtly on the edges, give it a little bit of pigment just to make sure that the character pops out a little bit more. Oh, also I forgot, Usagi is what they call um, Sailor Moon, like, you know, when she's just in a regular attire in uh, Japan. But in America, it was Serena, and that's how I know her mostly. So I just wanted to let that you know. Um, so you see how the shading kind of just kind of makes it pop just a little bit more? Um, you don't even need a lot. You don't even need the color of the whole thing. Just add a little bit of shading, and it makes it just pop out even more. Um, even with like the little pointer finger and the thumb, like you know, having a little bit of that, it's 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 nice. It works. Okay, so remember when we did the um, what am I getting the pink for? I remember. Oh, I added blushies. Yes, that's right. I added blushies. You want to, if you want to add blushies, you can too. Um, but here's what I did, right? What I did is I was like, oh man, what if I did that paper towel thing again? So I, I tapped it a little bit of yellow, and I got a bit of the paper towel and I twisted it and then I started rubbing it right because one of the things that I noticed was that after I did that first one they it had like a, a faded highlight around her almost like she was like um there was like a glow behind her I was just like wait that might that might work um the tricky thing is because of the lighting um on the the camera you can't really see it too too much um, but I'm still gonna like, oh, actually, yeah, it really pops out there, yeah. You just put a little bit of pigment, then you get a lot of paper towel, or like, not, when I say a lot of paper towel, it's just like, it's almost like the equivalent of water, like how you get like a lot of water and stuff. A little bit of pigment with the paper towel, and you just spread it around, and you rub it to like it fades out and then you can like start evening it out around the character so it can have like a little bit of a glow so it pops out again this is completely optional matter of fact everything that we've done here is completely optional you can color you could have colored serena in any way it would totally been fine but like still um i'm here to guide you if you want to follow suit I probably should have said that earlier but that's totally fine that's totally fine um so I'm working on getting it all done with a little bit of a glow, following the curve of the hand as well. Doing a little bit more towards where the hand is, where the fingers are. Yep. And then on the opposite side as well, on the inner part of the hand, and a little bit close to her shoulder and her neck. And I think I was just like, okay, this is great. Let me not mess this up. I think this is good. So with that being said, that's Sailor Moon. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, and if you watched Sailor Moon growing up, awesome. If you haven't yet, give it a shot. It's really good. But you all did a fantastic job as always. And I will see you next month. All right. Bye-bye.